All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to make Oren's famous but quick and easy tuna salad. For first, of course, you're gonna need a pack of tuna. Um, I'm choosing this much because it lasts for quite a while. Um, it'll last hopefully two to three. Well, of course, two days, but maybe three to four days. Just this. Uh, so I'm gonna get some tuna. This is how much it is. I got a, uh, well. Don't really see that on there. Anyway, you need tuna, mayonnaise. Uh, I choose to go with the real deal. If you like that? No artificial flavors, but yeah, it doesn't matter what kind. I'm gonna be using my turret. A little of this sweet relish. I'm gonna have just a little bit of onion. Now I'm not even gonna put all of this in there. Maybe just half. But, you know, this is not going to be cooked, so it's going to have a lot of, you know, the onions, you know, healing properties in it. And an apple. Oh, yeah. And, uh, eh, you might need an Altoid or two with that sucker, but, you know, it's healthy. And it's tuna. And it's cheap. So, you'll be all right. Plus, uh, this apple will help fight it, fight it a little bit, you know. Um, it uh, I already peeled it, as you can see. Peeled apple. Need to have a peeled apple. Uh, and of course, I'm going to cut this down the size. I'm going to cut the cut the onion down. Uh, another ingredient that I use: boiled eggs. I have three. Maybe maybe a little bit overkill. Maybe two would be good enough. Um, but yeah. I have three eggs boiled. I don't know about frying them or doing them any other kind of way than this. You boil them, you take the yolk out, chop them up. And I guess with three, it wouldn't be that much overkill. If I had celery, I'd throw that in there as well. Um, you could try any raw vegetable that you want. Um, green pepper, bell pepper red pepper not chili pepper but you could try it if you want to uh, I, I never did but yeah you can add any you know living raw whatever you want to call it vegetable that you want to and it'll just make everything you know just all the more pleasant you know um, it'll make it last longer because it'll be more things inside of this okay and this is for sandwiches this is if you want to just eat it you know Eat the tuna with the uh, with just crackers, you know. It's just for any of that. So can't really hold the camera and cut. So I'll be right back with a more finished product, but you know, showing showing uh, stuff. Okay, so I have the apples chopped. And I have half of that piece of onion I showed you chopped. The eggs are off. I already pre-cracked them a little bit. Already pre-opened. Well, not pre-opened, but cracked those. Well, pre-cracked. Open that. Open the 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 mayonnaise. Open the tuna as well. Just like that. Okay. So. Maybe I should cut those first. Um, yeah. Okay, back again. Now we got the egg, we got the onion, we got the apple, the relish, the real mayonnaise, the open tuna, and the bowl that we're gonna work with. All that we need now, it's a lean knife. Oh, I can't not. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have a helper. 
supposed to be looking like beautiful. Orin, ew, it stinks in here. Orin, so, Orin is stinking here. <laughs> mix it all together. My wife is going to put those in there, and then those in there, what? and then those in there. Why do I have to do it, Orin? If you're making it, then you make it from start to finish. Orin is stinking here. Get the heck out. <laughs> well, you, you hold the camera while I'm doing it. You know, this shirt ain't all that, and these pants ain't all that, and my bare feet ain't all that. Okay, okay. Alright. So, you first start off with the tuna. Or, I don't know why you're making a video about this. I mean, it's not rocket science, it's not astrophysics. Well, we need material. Plus it's a how-to. Okay, so we so I'm dropping tuna up in here. Where is it? stink in here. <laughs> Drop a board tuna in here. Hurry up, Warren. Is this going to be done in the next, like, ten minutes? Actually, yes. Well, hurry up, because I want a sandwich. Mmm. We ain't stinking here. <laughs> I didn't do anything. What are you recording? I don't know. I, I don't know. Alright. You're playing so around. So we, we have to tune it in the bowl. You don't need to get so close, Warren. Next. I'm going to just throw a little bit of mayonnaise up in there. Wop. Undercover brother. Wop. I don't know what that means, but okay. You're little, using little, this little, little sweet relish, right? Or are you using the same spoon? Yeah, why not? It's not like we use the relish for anything else anyway. How do you know? You you don't know what I do. All right, so we're just gonna pre pre stir for the rest of the stuff. Pre stir pre, or pre stir. <laughs> pre stir. Instead of, you know, stirring everything at one time. I'm a bigger spoon. Okay. So, Orin, this is dinner? This is dinner. Oh, okay. Eat up, enjoy. Unless you want, you want to go out. No, it's okay. We'll start our anniversary celebration tomorrow, then. Or we can start Water. it tonight. Yeah, Orin, please don't put too much mayonnaise in it. It wasn't enough. It looks like it is, Warren. It is now. Where, where's the onion? You gonna do it? The onion's right there. Where? I didn't overkill it. I didn't, I only did half of it. Well, I don't see an onion. Oh, I see it, never mind. Look at orange toesies. Uh, edit it. Okay. So this is what your pre-stirred tuna should look like. Taste test? Oh, I think so. I don't so. want to eat it. I don't want to eat test. it. Well, I don't... What do you think? It tastes like tuna. Does it taste like relish? Does it taste like mayonnaise? Mm, it tastes a little sweet. Good. Or well, I'm sitting down. Let's bring it. All right. Next thing, you mix everything else in there. Ew, Warren, can you not on the bottom of that? What are you on the bottom of what? I just moved the Can you not? Head. No, I'm talking about the bowl. But Warren, put the bowl on the counter. That's not how you mix stuff. I can't believe you. I don't want it. And you put it all in there. Warren, how ghetto fabulous. Ghetto fabulous. And that Dave, Dave Ramsey said that it's a poor man's meal. So he I guess did? it's ghetto by default. Oh. No. Alright, so you got all your stuff in there. So what we, do we mm. do next? Or you put the yolks in there too? Not. Oh, really. okay. It's more soft boiled than anything though. You stir that sucker. Or it's stank. Stir that sucker. It's stank. Stir, 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 stir that sucker. It's stank. <laughs> 
you are. That looks good. Why are you playing? So, uh, or in, that too is looking right. So this this meal only takes about ten minutes to make. While you're boiling the eggs, you can be cutting the things. You know. Cutting with these, or how how instructional is that? You could be cutting the apples, cutting the green pepper if you have it, cutting the green celery, pepper. Cutting, I, I I mentioned earlier that you can put anything, any kind of raw uh, living vegetable in there. If you want, you know, lettuce, any of that. All right, taste test number two. Or on your shirt though. It's bad grammar. When one move, we all move. <laughs> There's obviously an African shirt or something like that. Time to eat. The try taste test. Oh, you shoved it in my mouth. And then you're using the same spoon for it. What, the same stirring spoon? Yeah. I don't give a crap. So, ending product. It may stink. It may look funky, but how does it taste, Selena? It's nice. How nice? Really? Are you faking? No, it's good. It's just you have a camera in my face, Orin. And I'm not pretty. So that's how you make your wife happy and feel pretty, by eating tuna. Okay, Orin, make me a sandwich. I want, I want it on bread. Ooh, and I want cheese.